Welcome back, everybody. Today I've got a fun one to do in plasticity. We are going to design the impossible object here. Okay, this is what's called a Klein bottle. And let me put it in a wireframe so you can see exactly what's happening. As you can see, it is basically you got a hole in the bottom, works its way around and through into the cavity here. So you're thinking to yourself, how do you do that? So it's kind of it's kind of a weird object and very fascinating. So I, I decided to take up the challenge and, uh, and create it inside plasticity. So let's do let's go to Wikipedia and it'll kind of tell you exactly what it is. Uh, there's a whole lot of jargon in here, but basically it just intersects itself. It's like a, a Mobius strip, if you've ever heard of them. And it's a really cool object, and it was really fun to put this together inside plasticity. So we're going to go start off with plasticity, and I've got a little starter file for you that so you can follow along with this. And you can get it at my Gumroad or brush it's free so it, and it'll get you started here so basically it's got all the components to make the outer shell of the Klein bottle so I'm gonna go ahead and get started here I've got one long curve here that we're gonna do a pipe command on pipe P for pipe I'm gonna change the section size to one perfect do to isolate real quick. We're going to select these faces and delete them. So shift backspace. Come out of isolate there. And see the problem plasticity has is it it will not let you join things together because it's self intersecting itself. It does not like that. It will not let you do it. So I've got a workaround to make it work. So what I did here is I selected all these curves and make sure you go in sequence and then hit loft, L for loft, and that'll create the bottle itself. So now we got all our basic shapes. Confirm that. I'm going to go on the side here and here's kind of the trick to help make this work. So we're going to do shift A. I'm going to draw a line dead center. I'm going to do the cut command C cut both of the shells and then execute okay now we cut it perfectly in half just go ahead and delete that front since we're working symmetrically we don't have to worry about anything right now let me go ahead and hide those uh, curves we don't need them anymore and so let's start working on this guy here so what we need to do is cut a hole right here in the shell here and that's real easy select the shell that you want to have cut hit cut and then select a face and it'll cut along that right there and we could just delete that bit out now you can see we cut a hole there now these two aren't joined together just yet and we still have to uh, do some modifications here so I'm gonna select this and I'm gonna pull back that edge a little bit here all right so now we should be able to select both of these together, zoom out here, and then hit join. We join them together. Now, it's still not going to connect to itself, okay? It, it will not like it. So what we're going to do is we're going to thicken the sheet. And let's see, it doesn't want to go one direction or the other. I think we need to go negative 0.15. No, let's try positive 0.15. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so now we got our thickness here. So now let's start. Now it's a solid. So I'm going to select this face here. And all I have to do is do a match face. Boom. And now that is a solid object. Okay, it's it fused onto itself, which is fine. It's what we need. So you can actually put a little fillet in there and make it look nice. And doing it this way is kind of nice because I can see the inside without having to cut holes and stuff like that. And that's how I originally did it, and it was uh, bonkers. 
trying to get it to work. So now we got to get the bottom down here to connect. So I'm going to take this part here and I'm going to do match face this. Oh. Well, wouldn't you know it? It doesn't like it today. Let's try that one more time. Match face. Oh, I know why. Okay. We got to take this face and this face and slide them back just a little bit. There we go. Now it should match face. What it was trying to do, it was uh, going to self-intersect -inter self itself again. It, it absolutely will not work that way. Okay, there we go. Perfect. So now you would think to yourself, well, you just do a match face on there. No, it doesn't work. I've, I've got it to succeed one or two times, but in general, it doesn't like, it doesn't like doing it. So we should, I'm going to get rid of that little kind of bend in there in there. So I'm going to scale, just kind of flatten that bad boy out. There we go. Now we can take that and offset it in and it should be happy. There it goes. It argues with you for a second there and we should have succeeded. So we'll go ahead and yep, it's happy. So I'm just going to fill it this until it collapses and just come back just a hair. Okay. Fill at this edge. There we go. I'm going to zoom back out. And now all I have to do, since we're on the origin, is Alt X. Select which side. Make sure you hit Merge Half. Click OK. And there you go you've just created an impossible object inside plasticity. So, and let's just do a quick save. I'm going to export them out. Export, save as, wavefront object. And you can see I've done this many times, but that's okay. Practice makes perfect. Test eight. All right. Uh, and actually the, the, the hardest thing to do with this whole object is to make sure you spell it correctly. I can't tell you how many times I've uh, misspelled it there. And I've already got my settings up here, um, working with Blender, so Ngons is perfect. Uh, don't mess with the density. The min width, I put 0 .001, max width 1. You can lower that down if you need to. Uh, and the only other one I messed with was the surface angle. Change it down to 0 0.1 so you get more uh, resolution on the curves. The lower you go, the more resolution, but then more uh, end gons and stuff like that. You will run into this seam here. It's kind of hard to get rid of, but uh, it looks just fine in Blender. So I wouldn't worry too much about it there. It will turn out just fine for you. But that is it for today. I uh, hope you had fun with this one. It was a nice challenge. And we'll see what you guys can create. And let me know how it works. And we'll see you in the next video.